Hey everybody, out here in the garage. I'm gonna be doing a review, tabletop that is, of the Ruger Wrangler and 22 long rifle. Let me get you guys turned around. First off, I feel all uh, special and whatever the heck you wanna call it. I actually finally got a uh, table mat for the guns. This is an, uh, just an AR-15 exploded view. I don't remember which one, I got it off of Amazon. There's a million of them that are on there. All right, so here is the pistol itself. This is definitely not a cheap pistol. This is inexpensive. This is economical. This, in my opinion, is Ruger's answer to the Heritage Rough Rider. The Heritage Rough Rider, you can get those for $100 on Black Friday. I actually have a couple upstairs that I've had forever. Never shot just because they were cheap at the uh, at the time. These come in three different colors: black, silver, and like a bronze, burnt color. I prefer the black. Uh, pretty much every firearm that I own is in a black color of some sort. This is empty for all the safety sallies out there. It is a single action, so you can pull the trigger all day long, and it won't do nothing. You have to have cock to actually be able to pull the trigger and to make it go bang. Now, with this, to my knowledge, they do not have a 22 mag cylinder for it. It is only in 22 long rifle. Uh, if that is different, please let me know down in the comments. But pretty much what you see is what you got. This has a lot of a lot of heft to it. It's not heavy, but it's definitely not super light. Uh, I have not shot this. I bought this when they first came out, and then it became a safe queen. I uh, just hadn't had the opportunity to take it out. Uh, I do intend to, along with my Glock 44. I haven't had the opportunity to go get it. Uh, to the range yet bought it at my local gun shop for $1.99 when they uh, when they first came out it's definitely definitely very nice if you're into the single action if you're into the cowboy type uh, shooting see what else is in the box so pretty much I bought this and then went straight into the box and into the safe comes with the standard lock that nobody looks at anymore uh, NRA propaganda uh, shop you Ruger that kind of stuff and then it does have come with a instruction manual uh, for those who actually spend the time to to read them but you know you do what you gotta do this is the way that they show if you use the lock actually lock it take the cylinder actually out of it uh, that's a bit extreme to me but you do what you got to do uh, to make sure that you stay legal in your area uh, talks about safe carrying position don't carry it cocked uh, co correct cocking and decocking of the revolver Storage, don't store it loaded. It does have an exploded view with all the uh, parts and everything like that listed on it. You know, it comes with everything needed for uh, for the, the weapon itself. I'm not 100% sure on this one. I would, I'm guessing that that's for the cylinder but other than shoving it in like that I don't really know how you would uh, how you would use that because uh, you can't put two in at the same time and I guess if you took the the cylinder out and then put this on but I don't think you'd have enough room with the uh, between the cylinder 
because that's pretty thick. But anyways, something I won't use. But it's there. If somebody knows what it's actually used for, let me know down in the bottom. So that was a quick tabletop review on the 22 Wrangler. Uh, definitely a nice piece. Ruger's answer, in my opinion, to the Heritage Rough Rider. I will do a uh, tabletop on the Heritage Rough Rider. You guys have seen it before, but I'll just do another one. Uh, just to kind of have the uh, the comparison on the uh, on the bench here, and then I do intend to take all three uh, of the 22s to the range. Uh, actually, I'll probably even take my uh, Ruger SR22 as well, just to have a uh, nice variety uh, of different uh, of different 22s, uh, and you just kind of go from there. Hope everybody's doing good, and I will talk to you guys here on the next one.